morning, European traders. First day of December. Privateer FX. Gonna show you the way. We got what we were looking for yesterday, late. The yen sell off against everything. Dollar yen now 112.61 after printing a 111.73 low, respecting the 200 day moving average. Euro yen through the roof. On fire. Uh, CAD yen less so. It's like pulling teeth. Uh, that, but that did uh, move up sort of 45, 50 ticks, and now is at uh, 87, 50. So what do we do today? Uh, let's take a look at this dollar yen. Bonds much lower still. No reason this is going to stop. I don't think the next big level is 112.71. If you're a bear and you have um, an inclination to fade this, this is your line in the sand. We've printed a high of 69 today. Uh, we'll be adding to dollar yen longs through 71. Euro yen, all time highs of the year, 134.50. Same deal. If you are a bear, We'll probably be selling those, but we're bullish. We add to your yen longs through 134.50. Sterling yen, which has been a little bit more insane than the rest, coming from one the low of 147 three days ago. Now we're at 152 a quarter. That's a quick 525 points in three days. We're a little bit more cautious with the sterling yen. Year's high is 152.87, we'll call it. Uh, we're looking for a touch here. If you want to sell anything against yen, first time up to 153 is probably a sell. Uh, although we're not selling, but we are looking for a touch, maybe a move back, um, and then a possible long. We don't have anything on sterling yet at the moment. To move away from the yen, Aussie pff, doesn't look too good. Aussie and Kiwi both look pretty weak. 75.50. The low today, 51, which matches up with the low from two days ago. The real big important level is 75.32, but if we get some sort of heavy negative move lower, 50 is probably going to bleed into 32. I don't have much of a view here, but it sure doesn't look, doesn't go up well, let's put it that way, as we say in the business. This pair does not go up well at the moment, so short Aussie's not a bad idea. Its uh, little brother, Mr. Kiwi, is even in worse shape. This is a consensus short by basically the world. Even equity guys are telling me to short Kiwi. Mainly because the lady who's running that country now is acting a bit like a communist. Uh, I haven't read too much on it in depth, but I do know this is the global macro most rational, makes the most sense trade. U.S. raising rates, New Zealand, possible housing crisis, possible redistribution of wealth, type of government. Um, in the last two days, we've seen a bit of an acceleration here. This is the key point, 67.80. Definitely looks like today, if you get any pop to 58, just in that sort of 68.60 area, it's worth a sell. What else? We got our friend Swiss Yen. I won't comment on this because anyone who stayed long this your risk reward is probably a little screwy. That moved down to 113.67 yesterday after the after that bar that printed 10. Just like a horror movie. Anyway, eventually it did resolve itself through the 200 day convincingly. Now 200 day will provide support and like all yen crosses, this looks like it's heading higher. The way to 
trade it is buy weakness or buy low ones, however you want to. Explain that. Boons. Tough day yesterday. Boons. We got what we wanted early, but then we got to move all the way up to 87. Today it's we're kind of work, but we did have. If you look at it now, we're still on this sort of lower highs, lower lows on the dailies. With the fixed income move in America, you got to think that boons are not going to be able to hold up too well. Again, similar to the Swiss yen, selling low ones with this guy, it works for about 10 or 15 ticks, but it tends to retrace. So we'll see where we open. But again, the 200 day is at 45. If we get a strong move through the 200 day today, which I do think we will, then the bear side will really be in play. And uh, this might be fun. Just because we have a good 250 points till we get to that 160 level, which um, will be very, very interesting. Lastly, Dollar Max. We've been talking about this guy a lot for something that we don't trade all that much. But worth noting, we're respecting this moving average here, 200 day. Now we've printed this triple top here at 1067.80. I'm sorry, 1867.80. I will. I don't recommend trading this in Europe, as viewers know. Wait for Mexico City and New York to get settled in their seats. The liquidity is much better, and they actually one of the few currencies New York knows how to trade um, better than anywhere else in the world is dollar max. So wait for the pros to get in. But if you do see him move up through 68, gives you more confidence. We're going to have a tricky little long up there in that area, probably at the open in New York. And we're looking for a move up to 90. So it's it's got a decent 2% uh, on, uh, on your take profit there. Anyway, I've said enough for today. Um, have a great Friday. So talk to you at uh, the New York Open.